Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create full width backgrounds for your bubble pages. So right now we're looking at a fixed page where this image, these colored groups here, they're stuck kind of centered on the page and I've got all of this white space on the sides. So what I want to see is see this image expand to the full width of the page as well as this light blue area to the full width and this darker gray full width but maintain the elements inside, keep their proportions, have them centered. I don't want them to resize in any strange way. I really just want my background pieces um, to be a little bit more seamless with the page and expand to the full width so I don't have these um, white areas whatsoever. So if I go over to my editor, I can see how I've set this up here just to demo a couple different um, examples here. So this is a first group here that has an, a static image set to its background. Uh, and it contains a text element. The second group has just a flat color and it has um, a secondary group within it that holds these three images. Um, and this group, you know, uh, the, that contains the images is more to help me with the spacing and alignment within the light blue area. Um, and then within this third group, also set to a flat color as a background style, has another text element, whoops, and um, these input elements and a button. Okay. Now, because the page itself is set to be at a fixed width, okay, so this is here in the property editor for the page, um, Bubble won't do anything to any of the elements. It won't shrink it, it won't expand it, it'll keep it completely locked down. But in order to have anything react to your screen width and have it expand to the full um, width of the page, you need to make the page not fixed width. All right, so once we do that, let's refresh the page and see what that does to start. Once you do that, um, then Bubble can apply, you know, resizing of widths uh, according to the page that's uh, viewing the app. So we can see here we're a step closer now. So I've got my images, or this one, this one group with the image background, and uh, these groups as well, they've all expanded to the full width. And if I were to grab my window here and kind of move it around, I can see that the groups all maintain the full width, so they're always going to be stretched out to the very edges of the screen, which is what I want. What I don't want, however, is all this weird resizing of my images and my inputs. They're all going crazy. So how do I keep those elements locked down but still maintain these full width groups? The trick is really to make those elements fixed width on their own, so independent from the groups that they're in, the groups need to maintain their um, responsiveness, so we don't want the groups to have any kind of fixed width setting turned on, but these items, for example, this group that contains the images, I can make that fixed width. This group here will stay put, but the light blue will continue to expand and shrink. Okay, so if I refresh my page, so I've only just made the, um, the group that contains the images fixed, and we'll see what that does. All right, see how it didn't change it in any way, but because the lighter group, the lighter blue group um, is not fixed width, that's still allowed to expand. Okay, so this is how we can go through all of our elements and make sure all of the original proportions that we designed them with stay, um, stay that way. So if I were to actually group these four items here, I'm just going to multi-select them there and then group Okay, I selected them all by holding down the shift key, by the way. Um, and so by grouping all of these, I can now make this group fixed width, and I don't have to mess with individual settings per element by doing one group that contains these. It'll you know, save me a little bit of time because everything inside is gonna react to its parents' um, width setting. So here we go, now our contact form is more uniform and uh, nothing's getting stretched out really weird. So um, you also have other settings like with images you can uh, modify things a bit more depending on how the crop works, whether th something is centered. Um, that's th Those settings become available to you when you're working with images. Um, and then in general you have other options um, outside of making something fixed width. You could just tell Bubble, hey just don't make it larger than um, a certain percentage of its original width. So you can apply a max width to something, still have it be a little bit more responsive that way, um, 
but if you're just you know if you're building like a landing page or something where the background elements need to be um, expanding to the full uh, edges of the screen then this is a really great place to start okay so those elements that you want to stretch out make those not fixed and then anything within those areas need to be grouped and have their own width settings okay if you like this video give it a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel i upload videos every single week thank you so much for watching